supposedly one of these bolts back here is really difficult to get to for this caliper bridge. We're about to find out. If you haven't watched my video on releasing these electronic parking brake motors without a scan tool, then I'll pin that in the comments. First, we're gonna take the actual caliper itself off. One 13 millimeter bolt and the second one right here. Now, to remove and replace this brake rotor, we're going to need to get this caliper bridge off. So I got the caliper out of the way. Now I'll give you a better view and we'll see what we're working with. Here's what we got in here. Well, that doesn't look complicated at all. Maybe it was the other side. Well, here's the driver's side. The driver's side looks the same as the passenger side. So I'm not sure. We'll go back to the passenger side and just get this bridge off just to see if it's complicated or not. Maybe I'm missing something. Well, maybe my car is a little bit different because this one fits on and this one fits on. I'm even using a Harbor Freight ratchet. I can pull it out like this for a longer breaker bar. And then I can... Well, that's tight. But... I haven't tried this yet, but sometimes when you're struggling, all you need to do is step up to the bigger size. In this case, half inch drive. And hopefully I'm gonna have a better time. Let me turn the light on. All right, stick that in there. And first I'm just gonna try to, okay, a little pull isn't gonna work. I gotta give a push on this side. A little bit awkward. Now I'm going to give it the hammer palm. Still no go. It's on there pretty stinking tight. This is when we get the real hammer out. And when I say real hammer, I mean the choke up 10 pound boy. And I got to hold this thing on here like this when I do this. I got to make sure I'm going the right way again. Yeah, I'm going the right way. And then, ooh, that had some bounce back to it. You gotta be careful. Let's choke up all the way on it. That had some bounce back to it. This is where a 12 point comes in handy because I, I can't get the right angle on here.
All right, now let's try this top bolt. Ow, I overswung and hit my, hit my finger. Might wanna wear gloves with, when doing that. Cause this uh, this is awfully bouncy. When you hit it, it wants to bend the bar and spring load back at you. There we go, and that's my 10 pound hammer, choke up hammer, finger pinchy, it wasn't that bad, but I'm just telling you, be careful with your hands. And subscribe to Naptown Tuner if you like the uh, hammer style bolt extractor method.